I'll be instructing my patient on how to do three-point gait with a walker. So before we start uh, ambulating, we're going to make sure that the walker sits properly. Like we discussed earlier, we need uh, the hand rest right here to hit about the ulnar styloid process when his arms are relaxed. And then we have a gait belt on for safety. So I'm going to stand uh, on his affected side, which is his left leg right now, and we're going to teach him how to walk with a walker. So before we go, I'm going to give the instructions, and the instructions are to kind of roll the walker forward, put, push your weight through your hands and onto those hand rests, and then move the affected leg forward, but it is three-point gait, so it is non-weight bearing, so no weight through the leg, all through the hands, and then follow through with that unaffected leg, which is his right leg. Okay, so are you ready? Yep. Okay, so walker forward, push through those hands, bring that left and right. Walker, push. Good. Walker, push. Well done. Well done. Okay, now we're going to turn around facing the camera. Okay, so now we're going to say that his right leg is the affected leg now, and we're going to do a three point modified gait, which can be used for toe touch weight bearing, weight bearing as tolerated, or any uh, weight bearing precautions we can see. So what we're going to do with Trevor is we're going to put that walker forward, then we're going to push with our hands, and then we're going to take that right leg and just toe touch. So we're just going to have the foot touch the ground and follow through. Walker, push, toe touch, follow through. Good. And then a time to use a walker over crutches is what we want more stability with the patient, so they can be used in any populations that you need to feel, uh, feel more safety with and more stability. So for example, that could be an older population versus a younger population, more active could be using crutches. Thank you.